second. Should be the second day of Vlogmas. I'm leaving Mother's. It is 2.20 and it looks like it's 5 o'clock. It's dreary. And she thinks it's 5 o'clock. She is been trying to go to bed for quite a while. Well, I'm Suzanne Lyon, by the way. You know, guys, I just don't know about Vlogmas this year. I just, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. There is, there's just so much that's not right this year. Oh, me. It's hard to be jolly. I, I'm happy, don't get me wrong. It's just hard to be jolly when your mother is declining so fast that I've been there with her for two hours and I can't get her to eat. She ate breakfast this morning. Jessica is on her way to Florida. Her mother is having a severe, severe surgery next week. Her mother is very, very sick, so it's it's touch and go either way with or without the surgery so the weekends are already hard on mother because jessica already she just goes two times and obviously does just her minimal caretaking because it's the weekend and so weekends are already hard for her and then when you take jessica out of the picture which is like her little security blanket right now But I've just sat there and listened to her talk about stuff that doesn't make any sense. She's talking like there's multiple dogs in the house. She keeps calling them they. I, I just, I don't know. I may be more of a Debbie Downer this year than I am bringing holiday cheer. I mean, I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to just come up with cutesy things to do. This doesn't make any sense at this point in my life. It's hard. Dementia sucks. And there's no normal conversation anymore. None. I just told her, I said, lay down. Let me just sit here with you and she takes me, she takes everybody back to her bedroom and shows them her bedroom and everything every every time somebody comes. She's just, we're just losing her. We're losing that strong, amazing woman because her brain is tired. She was trying to get the dog to go get in her bed and I said, Mama, it's not nighttime yet, it's just dark because it's dreary and rainy. It's not nighttime. And she said, yes, it is. I said, no, baby, it's not nighttime. It's only one something. So it's like, I'm on the opposite end spectrums of life because we're losing her. And then I got the boys. And you have to be excited with them for Christmas and what they want for Christmas. And they stayed with us, you know, for a while last night. and. got to think about that at Christmas it's still exciting for them. I don't know. I'm just all over the place, guys. I'm all over the place. So bear with me. It just may be try to do more days in the lives, but I don't know how much of this y'all want to hear. I really don't know if you want to hear this. A lot of you have been through it. A lot of you have shared that with me, that you've been through it. 
and how hard it is. A lot of you lost your mothers when they were young and it's hard because you lose them when they're young. A mother is a mother is a mother. It doesn't matter when you lose them. It's hard. <clears throat> we lost John's mother in 10 weeks, uh, six weeks. Yeah, six weeks. They told us she had six weeks to live. She lived exactly six weeks. And we had five good weeks with her. And then last week, she was, you know, pretty much out of it. This is just dragging on for an eternity, it seems like. I mean, we've been treating mother for dementia for seven or eight years now. But we just, this past year, have started losing her. And you know, I've shared her so much on here, and y'all love her so much. And I've got a little video. I may have shown it. I think I showed it yesterday. I don't know. I'm going to be all over the place. Y'all just, I'll do the best I can do is all I can say. I know that I've kind of neglected this channel, but I'm just in a weird place in my life. And I like to be upbeat. I like to be positive. And sometimes life is just not upbeat and positive. It's just all there's to it. Yeah, there are still very positive things. And um, that poor little lady walked in the rain. I wonder where she's going. So no, there's still very positive things. It's just, you know, I'm just in that, that hard place right now where I'm losing my mother. And the thing is, is I'm just losing her while she's still here in body. It's hard. She's always been so strong in her 90s, you know, but she can't live forever. She's not going to live forever. And I want to spend time with her, but it's hard to sit there for two hours and talk about nothing. But then she hugs me at the end and says, I appreciate you coming here so much. And I said, well, I want to, and I do want to. I do want to be with her. But it's hard to sit there for two hours because, you know, used to, if we didn't do anything else, we could watch TV together. TV means nothing to her. It has to be on, but it means nothing to her. Nothing really means anything to her right now except for the dog. I'm so thankful she has the puppy. So, yeah, what a Debbie Downer I am. <laughs> I am, this is just my life right now. And um, I'm trying to honor and respect my mother in dementia. Um, she's always been such a bird fanatic. And sometimes would feed the birds year round. You don't have to feed them in the spring and summer, but she would just because she loves them so much. And she asked me, Holga, she said, Where, why are the birds not coming back? <laughs> And I text Dana immediately and I said, would you please go buy some bird seed? Last year, she didn't even think of the birds. So because she didn't say anything about the birds, you know, we just didn't buy a lot of bird seed because she just, it wasn't there. And she said the birds had just left. And so I called, text Dana and said, please go get some bird seed. And he said he would. It's just a hard weekend. We lost a precious lady in our church day before yesterday, 58 years old, full of life, beautiful. Found out in May, in May, she had colon cancer. She lost her only son three years ago. She's been divorced forever. She lost her only son three years ago in a car wreck. Her only child. And she joined him day for yesterday, so her funeral's tomorrow. So you see what I mean? I I just don't know that I'm gonna have material for y'all. I just don't know that I am. I just don't 
know that I am. Just don't know that I am. And this dreary day certainly does not help. Certainly does not help. Let's go right out here and see if Dana's they're doing on anything on the inside of their house. <sighs> they're getting very close to being finished with their new house. I was hoping they'd get in before Christmas, but I don't know if they are. No, they're not there. I'll just go home. Yeah, I know they're so ready to be through. I know they've got a lot done on the inside. They still like a whole lot to be done on the outside. They don't have the siding or anything. So anyway, <laughs> uh, you're gonna watch Vlogmas that's gonna be making cookies and candies and decorating and shopping and hauls. And you're, you're probably gonna say, oh, I don't think we can watch your Suzanne. If you can't, that's okay, babe. It's really okay. It's just where I am in life and it's hard. And my mother has been an exemplary example of what a mother should be. She has. She's been an incredible, strong woman. I'm almost out of gas. So, um, to see her laying there, and I was gonna, she, we got her hair cut the other day, and of course it's standing straight up because she's been laying on it, so I didn't want to video her any today. And um, I'm gonna try to get her out one day this week. Uh, but there's no need trying to ride her around when it's this dreary. Got some good looking turnip greens back there. Man, I'm so hungry. I cannot tell y'all how hungry I am. I'm hungry. I have not eaten enough in the last five days to keep a bird alive. And I'm really surprised that I'm doing as good as I have, but this stomach virus was horrible. And it just, it put my stomach into some kind of mode or zone. Yesterday, I ended up eating a honey bun. That's all I had all day. And I, it actually didn't make me sick. Now I'm drinking, correct, like I'm drinking Propel because I know I am in bad danger of getting dehydrated. Propel, like Ashley brought me some liquid IV packets and th those are salty, but I know they're good for you. All right, car, make sure you're gonna stop. And um, so I had a honey bun yesterday. The day before I had fixed some potato soup from this packet, it was really good and I ate maybe a fourth of a bowl, not much at all, and put a couple of crackers in it. Made me sick. The day before that, I ate two peanut butter crackers that comes in a little package. Now, I take that back. Last night, I did eat two more crackers before I went to bed. That's right. But that's, that's all I've had, y'all, all week. It's pretty much, oh, no, no, and no, that's right. Thursday night, that's right, Thursday night, I did. It seemed like my upsets, I had taken a modium and I was able to go to Reed's basketball game. And came back by and I got some cream potatoes because I could tell they were not like, they were kind of bland. You know, they didn't have a lot in them. And they made me sick. Didn't even get to go to choir practice. I was going to choir practice after his game. I just haven't been able to be away from my bathroom very much. Not what you want to hear on Vlogmas. <laughs> I'm just not going to be any fun. I don't even know if I'm going to, I don't even know if I'm going to upload this. No fun. No fun at all. We're buying the boys like an extensive something 
like we did last year. So they're getting, we've got very little Christmas shopping to do because they're each getting, except for Riggs, we'll probably buy him several small things because there's nothing big that he wants. But we're not having a lot of Christmas shopping to do. There's not gonna be a lot of presents under the tree. And, um, oh, I hope the sun comes back out tomorrow. <laughs> Especially with that funeral going on. I really hope it does, but I think it's supposed to rain. So Pippa is going to be at our church. She was beautiful, vivacious. She ran a daycare right here, smack in town. Just right up from the church for 26 years. So many, many, many children have gone through. And um, she wanted to live so badly. Yes, she had her son waiting for her, but she wanted to live. But God saw otherwise cancer was very aggressive very fast I tell you what she has one of the strongest support teams of friends that I've ever seen it's amazing and um, so church will be over between 12 12 30 she's gonna lie and stay at the church from 1 to 2 the funeral's gonna be at 2 and then I've got mother so <laughs> Doubt there'll be any video in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I usually try to bring you fun stuff and things are better. And I've done Vlogmas for several years now, but we're just going to call it Vlogmore. And anything that I vlog right now will be more than what I've been doing, right? <laughs> I really, it's just, it's just a, it's just a hard time. And we all go through hard times and that's okay. I don't want to get on here and be fake and like everything's just wonderful when it's really not. I mean, listen, things are not bad. It's just things are, it's just a difficult place in life, okay? Just difficult. Oh, this hair. Didn't get to wash my hair. Oh, that's another thing. Couldn't take a shower because our hot water heater is out and it's going to be Monday before they can come. John can turn it on just to heat a little bit of water. But actually what it's doing is overheating. Thank God, thank God he found it. Because the guy said that with it doing what it's doing, it's in danger of blowing up. If it had continued to stay, it could have blown up and caught on fire. Thank God, thank you God for your divine protection. Thank you God for your divine protection. So he can turn it on for just a few minutes and let me get a shower. But I just washed off and slung on clothes and went to mother's and been there. So anyway, I'm back home. Nothing a whole lot more exciting is gonna happen when I get here. So this will probably be the gist for the day. Um, you know, we, we just, we, we all go through hard times. We all go through difficult times in our lives. Losing family's hard and losing family in the holidays is extra hard and it is what it is. But I, I love y'all and I thank you so much for asking about my sweet mama. So many of y'all have asked about her and she's with us for a while. I don't know how long that will be, but uh, God is good. He knows the time. He knows the time. I'm gonna get off of here. I love y'all.